Welcome to Diversity Matters. This program is designed to highlight the diversity-related activities throughout New Hanover County Schools and the greater Wilmington region. I'm Valida Quattlebaum, Chief Communications Officer for New Hanover County Schools. This month, we're celebrating the holiday season through music, specifically choral music. Today, I'm delighted to welcome Ms. Alexa Swan, Ashley High School's Choral Director, and the Ashley Eagle Ensemble. We're in for a treat. We're going to hear students sing some great holiday songs, and we'll also learn how some of our students celebrate the holidays in different ways, and also, most importantly, how they demonstrate acts of kindness. This is going to be a very entertaining edition of Diversity Matters, and I can't wait to hear from our exciting panel of guests. So don't go away. We'll be right back after this short break. Start your day with New Hanover County Schools, The Morning Show. This Rise and Shine program will put a smile on your face and a spring in your step. Best of all, you'll start the day a little smarter. The Morning Show features an exciting six-hour mix of exclusive features, cooking, entertainment, news, science, math, and more. New Hanover County Schools, The Morning Show, educating all viewers to achieve today and tomorrow in a global community. Only on this channel. So Ms. Swan, welcome to Diversity Matters and thank you so much for being our guest today. Thank you for having us. So this course that you have is fabulous. Can you tell me a little bit about how your background and how you came to be in charge of this? I can. Um, I'm from Statesville, North Carolina, which is about five hours west of here. Um, and I started singing in chorus when I was a freshman in high school at West Iredell High School. Um, I really became super passionate by my chorus teacher there, and I guess you can say that's what led me here. Awesome, awesome. And um, where did you go to college, and how long have you been at Ashley? Um, I've actually been to two colleges. Uh, my community college was in Statesville, North Carolina, and that was uh, Mitchell Community College, mm -hmm. beautiful college, and a nice fine arts department as well, which is kind of strange for um, a community college. But, um, and then UNCW, so I'm a Seahawk. Oh, you're a Seahawk, go yes. Seahawks, okay. Yeah. And that's great that you went to a community college because a lot of our students, when they leave us, they need that transition and we have a great community college here. We do. Did that help you? Yes, it helped time? me so much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I definitely agree with our uh, community college here in Wilmington, it's great. So. Right, so you're stepping into some really big shoes. I am. Um, Ashley's known for having uh, one of our best choral programs. It is. So how has that been for you? I have told people, this is my little phrase, that it feels <laughs> like somebody handed me over shiny keys to a Bugatti. Uh, and I don't know how to drive it yet. Um, so I, no, I'm just kidding. I was amazed by the very first note that they sang for me. Um, I did student teach there, so I was a little aware of what I was coming into, mm -hmm. but they just sing like angels all they the time. Do. They and do, I'm they do. I'm so lucky. They sound like they're ready for, for the professional stage. Oh yeah, they are. So. Um, you have, how many students do you have? And um, tell me a little bit about cultural diversity. Altogether, I have 126 students. Wow. That's including the Corral and also our Honors Women's Chorus. Um, we have a lot of diversity within our choruses. Um, behind us today, I think everybody today um, celebrates Christmas. Okay. So in our other choruses, we have um, a couple students that celebrate Hanukkah and I don't think we have any Kwanzaa, but um, it's just really nice getting to share those experiences together mm -hmm. within the classroom and especially with music. Awesome, so how do you go about selecting songs that reflect diversity? Um, it's really easy with choral music because um, at choral music, that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. it, different cultures celebrate through singing all the time. And we always get to learn through our lyrics and our text. Um, sometimes we even sing in different languages. Uh, so not only do we get to pronunciate the different language, mm -hmm. but we get to find out the meaning behind it. Mm -hmm. And it's really, really awesome experience all the time. Okay, and, and some of the song selections, tell me the names of them, pronounce that name, um, Hanaru. 
Yes. Lalalu. What does that mean? Tell us about that. Hane rot halalu. It is um, our Hanukkah song that we've selected for our winter concert. Um, it is explaining the history and the meaning behind lighting the menorah for Hanukkah. Oh, awesome. Yes. That's beautiful. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what about your other songs? Um, we started uh, today's segment with The Winter's Night, which is a beautiful secular holiday piece. Mm -hmm. um, it's just telling a beautiful story about um, a winter's night as it's snowing, everybody, the world's asleep. So it's just very oh, pretty. That's beautiful. Yeah. That's such a beautiful image. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um, we also sang Caroling Caroling, which is a lot of fun. Um, that's, of course, the Christmas um, holiday uh, Christian faiths. Mm -hmm. um, that was just kind of, in Christmas, the music that bursts forth, whether it be caroling from choirs or bells ringing. Mm -hmm. So, And then finally, we concluded with Carol of the Bells, which is a classic a cappella Christmas carol. Um, and that is where the voices mimic bells, and it's just really impressive all the time. Wow. And do you pick all the songs, or do the students have any influence in the songs they want to sing? They like to tell me what songs they would like to sing. <laughs> they and like I to tell, tell you. Yeah, I mm -hmm. love to take that into consideration because nobody wants to be a part of something and participate in something if they don't have a voice in it. So, That's so true. Uh, I That's know so they true. want me to look at some three Irish songs and certain other uh, pieces that I'm going to be looking into. So, but um, I definitely try to take their input. Well, oh, that's great. And I know our viewers will want to hear you all again. So if people are interested, where can they go to hear you in concert? Um, this holiday season, we are mainly preparing for Tuesday, December 18th. That is um, at Minnie Evans Art Center and it's our winter concert there. So Tuesday, December 18th at 7 p.m., Minnie Evans Art Center. That's open to the public? That is open to the public and free admission. Oh, free um, is good, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. a, a nice treat if you're available that afternoon. And then, um, and we'll have our other two courses during that show as well. Okay. Um, but then the Cotton Exchange just recently um, re reached out to us and we would love to go caroling downtown. So that's oh. a matter of setting up the date. That would be great. You have to let us in public relations know about that so we can publicize you all. For sure, yes. Right. And we can say we knew you win. You know? <laughs> Awesome, yeah. Good. And then, um, let's see, we're planning a St. Paul's United Methodist Church performance. That would be December 20th. Um, so planning on that, but um, stay St. tuned. St. Paul's United Methodist is located where? In Carolina Beach. In Carolina Beach, yes. right, right. Okay, so right near the school. Correct. Excellent, yes. excellent. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. As you've seen, Ashley High School's choral department has a dynamic new leader who combines cultural diversity with great music. Next, we'll hear the Ashley Eagle Ensemble perform Hanarut Halalu in celebration of Hanukkah. So stay tuned to Diversity Matters. We'll be right back. <laughs>
bom, bim 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 bom, So what a great song for Hanukkah, Anaru, Hallelujah. So the holiday season is all about goodwill and kindness, and we have an opportunity today to talk with these students about how they incorporate these qualities into their lives, um, daily acts of kindness, and especially here now during the holiday season, your family traditions. So let's meet you first. Why don't you tell me your name and what grade you are in and anything else you want to share. Hi, my name is Jake Heath. I'm a junior at Ashley High School and I um, do Charades Challenge. You do what? Charades Challenge. Charades Challenge. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, yes. My name is Gianna Trombetta. I'm a junior at Ashley and my whole life I've mainly focused on music. Oh wow, okay, so you both are very musical, musically inclined. That's a very high intelligence to have. So let's talk about the holidays. What brings you joy during the holidays, Jake? What do you do with your family? So on Christmas Eve, me and my sister get to open up one separate gift and one gift together, and it's always PJs and a Christmas movie. And we come together as a family to watch them, and it, I always love it each oh, year. Oh, that's so sweet. Some new PJs. Mm -hmm. right. Gianna, what about you? <laughs> well, I have a big Italian family, so okay. we just we spend the first like three days of Christmas break just cooking, and mm -hmm. then Christmas night, we eat everything in like 10 minutes, and, <laughs> and then all leftovers, we bring them out, and we give them to people. Right. I think all families yeah. do that. We just cook and cook and cook, and then we eat and eat. And yep. eat right? <laughs> so what about your friends? What do you all do with your friends for fun? I know um, with my friends, we have like a Christmas Eve dinner kind of way before, like when we all get together mm -hmm. and give each other gifts and say what we're thankful for, for about each other. Oh, that's really sweet. Do y'all cook? Yeah. <laughs> I usually bake the desserts because I can't cook that well. <laughs> yeah, I do the desserts in my family too. What about you, Gianna? I mean, I just kind of round up a group of my friends and we just go to church Christmas Eve. Okay. That's beautiful. And um, let's talk about kindness and goodwill. Um, you know, we've all been through this awful hurricane and we're recovering. And I know Ashley High School students have done some really great things. So can you all tell me what you've done to show kindness in this season? Um, I know after the hurricane hit, me and some um, people in this choir actually went to um, a church um, and helped clean up their um, um, parking lot so they can have church services still. Oh, that's beautiful. And I think somebody sent us some pictures of, of you all doing that and doing some other things. And, you know, I'll tell you, as the PR director, when, when, I, when I saw that, it just filled my heart with so much pride. That was so beautiful for you all to give back like that. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, good, good. Gianna? My church did the same thing. We had cleanups, we had shelters in place, we just, we set up foods. Mm -hmm. meals <laughs> right. and uh, give them out to the community. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that's what it all, it's all about. And that really helps you feel better, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. You know, instead of just sitting there mm -hmm. bemoaning our plight, right? Okay, so let's talk about kindness every day. Sometimes it seems like um, these are tough times to be young people, you know? And so yeah, talk yeah. to me about that. What is it like to be in high school these days? And, and um, are kids mean as it seems? How do you combat that? Um, not as most people think. There are some nice people. Um, you, actually, we are most of us are really nice, and like if <laughs> y'all are nice. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, but I know if like I see someone in the hallway who's up stuff, I always help as much as I can. And mm -hmm. I try to help people, especially if like they're new and they don't know where they're going. Mm -hmm. I try to help them as much as I can. Great. How about you, Dion? Well, I've had some firsthand experience with some of what goes on in some public schools. bullying and meanness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it, How'd you overcome it? I learned how to focus on myself and not have to deal with that anymore. Good. And, and look at you being so successful and strong <laughs> and singing. Yeah. yeah. So do you all find a lot of peace and comfort in your music? Oh, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. do you, what do you do for fun with your music, Jake? Um, I mean, you seem like a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just sing around the house whenever I can. It's mm -hmm. actually quite calming, and it helps me reflect on myself. 
It does. See, I do that too, but I don't sound as good as you do. <laughs> so, um, Gianna, how, do you, how does your music help you? Honestly, I have dove into music to learn it to help me with my anxiety, and then it helped me to realize what I want to do with my career, mm -hmm. with music influencing it. What do you want to do with your career? I want to be a music therapist. Oh, wow. That's powerful. Yeah. Because, I mean, music really does heal people, and it's, mm -hmm. it's really a cool thing. Mm -hmm. I've read that, that music is one of the most powerful forces in the universe. So, mm -hmm. so you'll use music to heal people like a doctor does. Yeah. Uses medicine. That's powerful. So what about any hidden talents? Jake, can you um, bust a move for me? Oh, I what can't can dance. I've tried so hard. <laughs> no, I mean, can you sing something yeah, I'll that sing would something. make you feel good? Um, on the outside, always sucking in. Will I ever be more than I've always been? Because I'm tap, tap, tapping on the glass, waving through a window hole. Beautiful. Thank wow, you. that's great. <laughs> So are we going to see you on The Voice or something? Oh, uh, <laughs> maybe. Still mm -hmm. thinking about what I want to do and stuff. Yeah, I, I was going to ask, what do, you, do you see music in your future career plans? Yes, I see music and theater. I want to do something with both because I really enjoy both. Do you? Yes, I mm -hmm. Broadway. I can see you on Broadway. <laughs> Remember us when, when you make it. And Gianna, what about you? How do you um, how how do you work with your fellow choir members in terms of helping keep things together? Because you all seem so cohesive and you know just like you take care of each other. Yeah, I mean we're honestly we are really one big family, and we've grown into one over these past two years because mm -hmm. we haven't had like that many people move in, but as soon as they did, they were immediately accepted. I mean. Mm -hmm. It's just the whole entire environment of the classroom is so welcome. So there's no hazing when you come into the choir, no. y'all? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we do have a hot seat sometimes. But <laughs> right. Well, good. That's really good. I'm glad you all, all of you, are just an excellent representation of New Hanover County Schools and what we try to be all about. So thank you for being such great students. Thank, thank you, you for having us. You're welcome. It's always great to get information and hear from our students. Next, we'll hear the Ashley Eagle Ensemble perform an a cappella version of Caroling, Caroling in celebration of the Catholic and Christian faiths. So please stay tuned for Diversity Matters. We'll be right back. Caroling, 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 now we go, Christmas bells are ringing. such a beautiful and timeless song and it was performed so well by the Ashley Eagle Ensemble. And now we have the opportunity to talk with two of our students about how they celebrate the holidays and how they spread goodwill and kindness during the holiday season and every day. So welcome students. Hi. <laughs> so please tell me your name, what grade you're in and something about yourself that makes you special. Um, my name is Elena Blackwelder and I'm a senior at Ashley. Um, and I really enjoy participating in theater as well, of course. <laughs> okay. 
Uh, my name is Reagan Blackburn, and I'm a senior at Ashley High School, and I like to not only participate in theater and chorus, but um, student government and Science Olympiad and other um, clubs like that. Wow, so you are a leader, both of you. <laughs> okay, so Reagan, tell me, what brings you joy during this holiday season? Oh, I think just being with my family and friends. You know, mm -hmm. um, a lot of my family is spread across the country, so during the holiday season, it's just it gives us an excuse to spend time with each other and not only, not only my friends, you know, I see every day, but it still gives us an opportunity just to be with each other, and I really enjoy that. What about you, Elena? Um, I also like spending time with my family and friends during the holidays. I love getting to spend time with my family, decorating the house and everything, and like, mm -hmm. you know, hanging out with my friends and like decorating cookies and stuff like that. So, <laughs> so what? <laughs> Teenagers nowadays, how do you all have fun at Christmas time? What do you do? Um, I know for us, we usually. <laughs> Um, get a, get together at my house and we uh, go down to the Christmas parade or you know have dinner together, decorate gingerbread houses or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. That's great. You too. Yeah. Great. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. So what about um, goodwill and kindness? What what all, what have you done in those areas? Well, I know my um, my dad works at a heating and air company, Johnstone Supply, mm -hmm. and for they they always like participate in some kind of gift giving thing. So usually I go down with him and my mom, and we just get to basically load a cart full of gifts and you know pajamas and movies and just stuff like that. So just to know that even just a little bit, you know, it counts, and I just I love doing that. Right. What about you, Elena? Um, you know, gift giving with friends and also in class we always do like a secret Santa sort of thing and just make sure that like everybody's included and everybody's involved in like the happiness of the season. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that, that you use the word um, that everybody's included, the phrase. So let's talk about inclusion mm -hmm. and diversity and cultural things. How do you as a person um, feel about inclusion and what do you do to make sure that people feel included? Um, I think that diversity is really important um, and I think that making sure that everybody is included in the holiday season, specifically making sure that all religions and all celebrations are represented not only in the songs that we sing but in like our actions and making sure that, you know, we're accepting and, you know, we, we want to inform ourselves and make sure that we know about different celebrations instead of just Christmas or, mm -hmm. you know, the things that you see more typically. So. Right, right. Do you have thoughts on that, Reagan? Oh, I was just gonna say, you know, for me personally, I love learning about different holidays and different religions and how they celebrate certain things. So, mm -hmm. especially during the holidays, it's such an exciting time just to get to hear how people celebrate and, you know, right. and because it's such a wonderful time of year, you know, everybody should be able to celebrate in whatever way they want. And I just, I don't know, I like hearing about it. All right, well, I see all the diversity in this <laughs> um, choral group and I, you all just blend together so well. It's just <laughs> a great thing. So tell me what you want to do with this in the future. With music? Mm -hmm. um, I know I want music to be a part of my life. Um, so, you know, in college I'd love to be a part of a chorus still, maybe an acapella group, something like that. Just making sure that it's always something that's a part of me because it is very important to me. Do you know what you plan to major in? Probably yeah. something environmental science. Okay. So. <laughs> An environmental yeah. scientist? <laughs> yeah. Who's musical? Yeah. I love that, right? I love that. Um, I hope to go into communications or some kind of journalism okay, aspect. Okay, I see you coming out <laughs> to my job, girl. Okay. Um, but also, That's great. but like w like Elena said, I want to include music in some part of my life, whether it be singing in a church choir or finding any time to sing. I mean, I love singing. I never want that to not be a part of my life. So you both sing. How about would you sing something for me? Let me you hear you. Sing, sing for like, good. Sing yeah. Anything, <laughs> okay. Right? okay. Because I knew you, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you sing like angels. <laughs> Are you angels? Do you act like that? What would your parents, <laughs> what would your parents or guardians say to me? I have two younger brothers. Um, they go to Ashley, they're freshmen, so compared to them, I am <laughs> I love them. If, if, right. yeah. I, I'm not the only girl in my family, so yeah. I love to throw little brothers under the yeah. bus. <laughs> How about you, Elena? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty close with my parents. <laughs> I mean, I, I like to think they would say nice things about me. But I am an only child, so I don't have that same oh, like. Oh, you're an only child. To be the, so that, yeah. all the presents are for you. <laughs> but, 
Oh, that's great. You you all are just amazing students, and I'm, yeah. we're so proud of you. Thank you. Thank you, and thank you for singing um, off, <laughs> off the cuff like that. That was excellent. Thank you. Thank you. To close out this segment of Diversity Matters, we'll, we'll hear one last song, Carol of the Bells. This is a great song to leave us in good spirits. I'd like to thank Ms. Swan and the beautiful Ashley Eagle Ensemble for being our guest today. And Hanover County Schools values diversity in all facets of the district. And diversity is indeed the very reason why this show exists. And to our viewers, thank you for joining us on this very special episode of Diversity Matters. Feel free to contact the New Hanover County Schools Public Relations Department at 910-254-4245 if you have any questions or you have a story idea for a future edition of Diversity Matters. I'll see you again next month for an all new edition of this show. Happy holidays and thanks for watching. One seems to hear words of the cheer from everywhere.